about 56 years. 1962. Well, we were living in a, in a, a duplex in, in Lakewood, and I worked at Sunstrand at the time, and so we wanted to move out this way, and we looked in Thornton, and we looked in North Glen. She's the one that found North Glen, really. And uh, we thought, this is just perfect. And so we, we uh, looked at the show homes. The show homes were up on... 104th and Grant. Uh, yeah, 104th and Grant, yeah. We bought a matchless home uh, right at the get-go. Uh, we bought the matchless because uh, I, didn't, I didn't want the garage because the garages were attached. And if we didn't have the garage, we could get the basement finished. So I said, fine, we'll do it that way. I'll build my own garage. The cost of the home, our matchless model, was $12,650. And that's what we bought it for. They built the whole block all, all at once, uh, but uh, we, were, we were the first ones out there, I think, that really had bought the house. And I took pictures, of course. And so uh, there's, still, there's still about six of us left that, that bought houses on our, on our block. Her folks lived in Denver. It was long distance phone call to Denver from here. In fact, it was long distance just to call across I-25 at that time. Yeah. When they got incorporated, that all changed. You did your shopping in Garland Center. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's changed for the better. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think it's changed? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the shopping, of course, has changed with the marketplace and uh, a lot more convenient convenience around. Um, Tell them about the park. The park? Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, E.B. Rains Park okay. is the best. It was, it was built up, kind of, you know, the lake was was enlarged, I think, and then there's a smaller lake. But the areas around it with the statues and the shrubs and the bushes, I go there every day to walk my dog because I just love it. So that was a big change that I'm thrilled with. <laughs> well, we, we did do the, uh, the police academy, Citizens Police Academy, and I recommend that anybody who, in any town, I think that all towns have them, but I recommend that to anybody to see exactly what the police do. You get a little different uh, perspective of how difficult it is to be a policeman uh, when you go through that uh, class. Well, the neighborhood has pretty much stayed the same in our area. Everybody that lives across the street from us all moved there when we did. So our kids grew up together and we're all still friends. And uh, so it's kind of a nice feel, you know. Um, we've had people move in and out around us, but they've always been good people. And so that's kind of nice. Uh, but I think that the neighborhood itself with the closeness of everybody as far as age and um, interests and things like that are still there. 